Hi, awesome. everybody. It is Nick Soper with Creative College Prep, and I am here with Jake Brown, the Director of Admission for Eckerd College in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we are going to dive right in now with another segment of Spotlight on Admission. So, Jake, will you tell us just a little bit about Eckerd and what you find is most exciting about what's going on there these days? Sure, yeah. Eckerd College, it's really Florida's only national private liberal arts and science college. Uh, our motto is think outside, and we take that truly to heart. Uh, we want you not just to be outside all the time, and it's easy to do that in St. Petersburg with average days of sunshine of 361, um, but we want you to think outside the conventional ideas of what college is all about and think outside the college admission process and be a little bit creative about it. And don't just think that college is all about walking the quad, you know, with brick buildings and ivy on the walls. We're a little bit different from that. We're atypical, uh, partially because of our location and partially just we're a young institution. We were founded in 1958 with this idea that we wanted to be different um, than most other liberal arts and science colleges. Great. And what kinds of things do you find yourself looking out for in applications that really helps you to identify uh, the students that have really set themselves apart? Sure. You know, the, the typical Eckerd student is pretty adventurous. On average, they're traveling a thousand miles from home to join our campus community. 80% of the students come from outside of the state of Florida. On average, across the United States, students will typically travel 200 to 225 miles from home. That's their wow. comfort zone. Yeah. The typical Eckerd student is going four or five times the distance commitment. Uh, in an average first year class of 510 students, they may represent 490 different high schools. So we're really looking at students who want to do something different than even their high school experience that say to us, this isn't state university where I could easily go. This probably isn't where a lot of my friends have gone either, but I have taken the time and I've seen that Eckerd is a really, really good fit for me. Um, and I'm ready to make that adventure and, and ready to, to make that leap. That helps them once they get here. Uh, we were one of the first colleges to develop what we call 414 academic calendar. And so all of our students will spend a short term every year in sophomore through senior year, that short term is spent um, in the works of three weeks in January, and they can choose from up to 25 different destinations abroad. And so we have classes that will go and study business in developing nations in Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand. We had four different courses go to Cuba this past January. We have students who are studying the environment in Roatan and the Galapagos Islands and Belize. Wow. Once again, going back to that think outside, we want them to get off campus. We want them to explore other parts of the world. And so that's something that we're looking for in the application. It comes in different ways. You know, some students have traveled their own in high school or with their families. Others haven't, but we're still able to see that, you know, that student speaks Eckerd to us. Sure. Uh, the other piece, of course, is we're small. We're 1,800 students. And so for the student who sort of wants to maneuver college with an air of anonymity, this might not be the best place for them. You know, we're looking for students who want to be part of a community and a culture who, yes, certainly want smaller classes, but they also are looking to be mentored. So all of our students here have a faculty mentor who works with them, not just on the academic side of things, but making sure that the students are transitioning well into college and throughout college our goal is that those become lifelong relationships. So as a student is graduating and, and choosing what path in life to take, hopefully they come back to their mentor. So students who want that type of environment and close connection. Mm -hmm. There are some obviously other things that, that strike us and say, well, they might be a good fit for Eckerd. Obviously, if there's students who you know are born with gills <laughs> and spend all their time in the water, um, you know, that's helpful. You know? We have uh, about three fourths of our campus is surrounded uh, by Boca Ciega Bay, which uh, goes right out into the Gulf of Mexico. Students who are recreational, I think do really, really well here. Mm -hmm. And students who have that work-life balance. 
it's easy to look at Eckerd and see sun and sand and the on-campus beach and think that it's not terribly academic. I think the students who do the best on campus understand and appreciate that work-life balance. They're academic, they want to get their hands dirty, they want to do research, they want to get involved, but they also like the finer things of life as well. Mm -hmm. And they don't mind maybe doing some studying on a hammock by the beach. Yeah, not so bad. Um, work hard, play hard, maybe both exactly. at the same time. Well, yep, you can do it. <laughs> so in your time in admissions, what is your favorite story? Maybe something that comes to mind. That's a tough one. I mean, it's... That's why I ask it. <laughs> the reason why I like, I know, the reason why I like admission um, is because it is different every day. Um, it's a different cycle. You know, we're working with seniors who are trying to you know, figure out where they'd like to go. We're also starting to work with juniors who are just starting this part of the search process. Um, so I've got a lot of favorite stories. I'll give you this one just because it's most fresh in my memory. We had a student visit today um, and he's been waitlisted to the college, um, which I think waitlist is probably the hardest decision because it's not a clear cut yes, it's not a clear cut no. You're sort of sitting there in limbo a little bit and trying to figure out, well, does the college like me or don't they like me? The student came in, sat in on a class, met with them um, in advance, sent a whole letter as to why he felt he was a good fit for Eckerd. Um, and it was truthful. You know, it wasn't just lip service. He wasn't right. saying it to say it or to win admission if, if it can be won. He was really self-reflective and, and there was authenticity. So the student uh, walked him over to his class. He was sitting in on um, doing some other things on campus. Later on in the day, I was able to call him. He was still on campus, brought him back into the office, and was able to offer him an admission letter. And you could just see it on his face. I mean, you know, huge smile. Ugh. And I think it's because, and then there was a smile on my face too, because there was some understanding that this is where he belonged. And he felt and created a great case as to why Eckerd was a good fit for him. And after we met with him, um, I felt the same way. Uh, so he signed up right on the spot too, which was which was really, really good. But very rarely do I get to hand deliver an admission letter. And and especially to a student who was in that type of circumstance where he came in and, and knew he had to make a pretty good case. So I would say that's probably gonna be one of my top 10 favorites. It's one of the best sure. April stories I've heard in a long time. I yeah, April's it. a tough month in, in admission. I think it was T.S. Eliot. He wasn't talking about college admission, <laughs> but he said April's the cruelest, cruelest month. month. He could have been an admission counselor maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it can be a tough month, but those those little stories, and, and they typically have to do with students finding the right fit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's why I'm in this job. It's the name of the game. Mm -hmm. So last yeah. question for you is what advice, encouragement, or perhaps words of caution do you have for families as they are preparing to apply? I mean, there's a lot um, of pieces of advice and there's a lot of people and a lot of books out there telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Indeed. You've got to be self-reflective. And I'm talking to the students first and foremost. Start thinking about what it is that you want. Um, out of a college experience. Um, that's a little bit of homework on your end. The homework that colleges need to do, and as you're visiting colleges and you're online looking at resources, is challenge the college to tell you what makes their program or their institution different and unique. And it has to be beyond friendly faculty and a good campus community. Um, I haven't been or heard from a college yet who says they have terrible faculty and an awful campus community. <laughs> but everyone likes to say it because I think we feel we have to. Look beyond that. And so if it's at Eckerd, you know, you're going to find a place where even your dogs and cats and pet ducks are welcome. We've got a great pet residence program, probably one of the only colleges that does a three week long orientation instead of a three day long orientation. Uh, one of the most comprehensive collegiate waterfront programs that are both recreational and academic um, in the country. Those are just certain things that make us different. Um, but colleges are, are like onions and you've got to peel them back little by little, but really challenge the college to tell you what they see um, 
as differentiators and what makes them stand out. And then also ask yourself that if that's what you're looking for in a college. The other piece of advice that I can give you, try your hardest not to get caught up in this. You know, it's 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 an anxiety ridden process and it shouldn't be. It should be a little bit of a fun process too. Um, and the stakes are high, it's an important decision, but have some fun and try not to get too caught up in where everyone else is going and where they think that you should be going. Mm -hmm. Man, great advice. Thank you so much, Jake. We're going to wrap things up for today. I'm so glad we had a chance to hear from you to learn a little bit more about Eckerd. And for the families who are watching now, what are the best ways for them to find out more about the college? Yeah. Best ways to, to look more at us is uh, Eckerd.edu. Go right to our website, schedule a visit, um, see where we're traveling to around the country or certainly in California. You can even sign up for more information. The other plug I'll give is certainly ctcl.org, Colleges That Change Lives, which Eckerd is a member of. Awesome. Well, students and families, thank you so much for joining us today. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, and come back here soon for more on how to get creative on your path to college. Thanks again, Jake. Thanks.